Hello, it is Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Tuesday crossword today, which means I'm going to be solving this puzzle. I'm going to be attempting to solve this puzzle only using the across clues, which is the new the new template. Downs on Monday, across is on Tuesday. Um, people seem to have been enjoying this. I've been enjoying it as well. It does break up the solving in an interesting way and adds a particular kind of, not just challenge, but also just an interesting dynamic to the solve. So I'm, uh, I'm going to stick with it for the time being. And today's a uh, very across-heavy edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Gita Karudi, Josh Allen, Jake Rodkin, and, as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the four of them. They're benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign. They support this channel. They bring us this series. For that, I'm very grateful. Thanks to those four, but thanks to everybody who's a patron of the channel at any level. I really do appreciate it. And if you'd like to join their ranks, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the description field link where you'll find all of the bonus videos available to patrons, as well as for benefactors, the official Let's Check the Crosses mug. Thank you again to everybody who does contribute. And um, there's also, of course, the Daily Solve Discord chat server. You can join via a description field link. And finally, it is a big help if you like the videos, comment on them from time to time, and especially if you subscribe to the channel. Those things are all helpful. All right, let's get on to the crossword, shall we? This is a Tuesday-themed crossword by Lynn Lempel, who's constructed more than 100 puzzles for the New York Times. So quite an achievement, quite a legacy. And it was edited once again by Joel Faliano. Let's start solving, see how we do with the acrosses today. Kids guessing game. I spy, maybe? That is a funny coincidence. I was literally just, I had that on my mind minutes ago for some reason. Uh, spider's spot. A spider's spot is a web, I assume. Common car rentals are sedans, maybe? Could be the name of a car rental agency? Probably not. You wouldn't call that a rental, you'd call that a rental agency or a rental firm. I think a sedan, a four-door car, is probably the most ordinary car rental, so I'm going to put that. Trifling, a trifling amount, a mere amount. Mere is my first word. I'm going to put it in. I'm just going to go for my first thought, and we'll, we'll just see how it works out. Unless I'm not confident at all, then I won't. Vain contents. Um, first thought was blood. That doesn't fit. But ore, as in a vein of ore, if you're mining for... You know, a metal ore. Sol uh, soldier's shoulder adornment, an epaulette. Um, you know, very much associated with military dress. You've got those sort of uh, embellishments on the shoulder of a uniform, military uniform. Parent dressed up at a pride parade, perhaps? Question mark. Okay. Well, this looks like this looks like a thematic answer, and it's highlighting uh, sixty-three across, which will be a revealer probably. Um, parent dressed up at a pride parade, perhaps. I'm not sure what we're looking for, unfortunately. Especially with the potential pun in there. Hard to say until I've seen a few theme answers and have a better sense of it. Let's keep going. Booth alternative at a diner. The bar or a table? Um, booth alternative at a diner. You could be seated at Booth or at the bar. I mean, could it be? No, it's not the bar. It's not long enough. Um, and let's see. what Where else could you be sat? I mean, a table. I don't know. Let's keep going. Slippery tree. Elm? Sorry, let me turn off my phone. Okay. Um, slippery tree, I don't know what that's about, sorry. TSA requirements, IDs maybe? Or a bag for liquids? <laughs> I'm gonna, oh no, it's plural, it's plural, so it won't be bag, singular. So probably IDs. TSA, the, the um, you know, at the airport who, who checks your luggage and things, so. Vietnamese noodle soup pho. There we go, there's something I can put in. Cryptographer's creation could be a code. So someone who engages in cryptography, you know, encoding uh, text or messages or whatever. It's probably the answer. I'm not certain about it. I guess it could be something like a ruse or so, I don't know. I'm just going to stick with code and move on. Some family reunion attendees. Uncles? 
just trying to think of a family member that could be pluralized in six letters and uncles is one. I'll go with it. Choice between a haircut and manicure. Right, okay. A haircut and manicure. Style man, I don't know. I don't know what this is, sorry. Okay, I just don't have a sense of the theme yet. Achy, if you're achy, you're sore probably. Word after black or before box. Um, boy, I wish I could just infer this one. Um, after black or before box. Before box feels like the the more constrained one. Jack, Jack, black Jack, Jack box. Is that? I don't know if that's if that's I'm not convinced by it. Llama habitat. Llama habitat. Uh, Peru or Chile, maybe. Llano, <laughs> that would be unlikely. Um, the Andes Mountains. Maybe that's the most likely, actually, just in terms of providing plausible crosses for the downs. Um, I'll just, I'll put it in. Oklahoma City named for a Tennyson character. Enid? Enid, Oklahoma? Is Enid in Oklahoma? I think it, I think it might be. I think that might be the answer. I'm going to put it in. Organization with a lot of returns. Probably the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, which processes tax returns in the United States, um, which is which happens soon in the U.S. tax year. Um, if you're toward the rear, you're aft in a in a boat ship. Meet me under Big Ben? Question mark. Right. Okay. Here we have another punny theme clue. I don't seem any closer to understanding what this is about. Meet me under Big Ben. So Big Ben is the is the bell in the clock tower at the Houses of Parliament in London. What would that? mean? Meet me under Big Ben. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just not getting this theme, unfortunately, yet. Uh, blank bother. Why bother, you might ask? Prefix with metric or logic? Unimetric? No. Uh, oh, these are such generic, such generic suffixes. Um... I don't know. I'm just thinking of a lot of prefixes, but I, I can't think of one that's obviously correct. Alan of Bridge of Spies. Alan Alda, the, the actor. I've not actually seen Bridge of Spies. It's been recommended to me numerous times. I need to watch it. Uh, musical based on a comic strip. Annie, probably. That's a, that's a classic. I think Annie's a classic newspaper comic strip, and it's certainly a musical. Starchy Tropical Root. Taro, maybe? I think that's... If it's the first thing that comes to mind, it could be right. Erotica. Smut, maybe? You know, pornographic material? I'm trying to think if there's anything else in four letters that would fit blue, but that's an adjective, not the noun. Well, I, actually, I guess it could be porn, just singular. I guess it's only singular, uh, or collective. Um, they both seem reasonable with the crosses. I don't know how to disambiguate it. I'm going to move on. Continue with your routine, cheerleaders. Something on at the end, maybe? Continue, sort of go on, or... I don't know. I just don't have a clue about this theme, unfortunately. Milk curdler in cheese making. Rennet is used to curdle the milk in cheese making. Wow, this is my... This is not a very successful attempt at this solving method, is it? Look at this. Shopper's aid is a bag or a cart, maybe? A cart? Shopper's aid? I suppose depends what kind of shopping you're doing. I'm going to put it in because I'm, I'm skipping so many. Kind of PC port, USB. I mean, it could be something else, but it's certainly the most obvious. Low military rank, a private PVT. Oh, I don't know enough about military ranks to know. I think what would the what would the next lowest one? Would it be sergeant or corporal? Oh, I don't know. Ugh. I, I sort of think this could be private, corporal, or sergeant. I don't, I don't, I don't know. 
lentils on an Indian menu. Well, this I definitely know is dal. That's lentils in Indian uh, cookery. And then sticks to is adheres to probably, either literally or figuratively. Oh, here we go. Game break or a hint to interpreting the first part of 17, 26, 36, and 52 at cross. Time out? No. Game break. Inter... No, it wouldn't be intermission. Um, game break. Downtime? Don't really think that's... I don't think that's right. Come back in to re-enter. Savings for the golden years. Maybe an IRA, an individual retirement account, which is a, a U.S. Um, retirement-oriented financial instrument. And, um, so that's probably right. Hershey Toffee Bar. Is that score? Is score the toffee one? I think it might be. Good day for a hunt. No idea what's going on with that. Bear's lair. A bear's den, maybe? Farm enclosures. Pens? Could be styes, but that wouldn't fit the plural version. Pens, probably, as in, you know, pig pens. Um, oh, no, no, no. Don't look. Sorry. Don't look at the downs. Okay, so we've, we've gone through the whole puzzle with the crosses. Now that I have some, some crosses, I can look at the down answers, but I won't be reading any down clues, you know, strictly not reading any down clues. Okay, so here we have parent dressed up at a pride parade press. Could be some kind of, could, could have mom or dad in it, maybe. These downs are not inspiring me, unfortunately. Oh, this looks like wordsmith in the downs, in the five down. I'm just going to go put that in because I'm pretty sure that's right. So that gives me something. What about this? Word after black or before box? Okay, well, it's not whatever I guessed before, which I don't remember. Um, black mass? Ma mass box? No. Oh, my goodness. Not sure. Not sure. Um, ten, uh, 16 down could be echo, maybe. Booth alternative at a diner. If that were a C. Booth alternative at a diner. What would that be? You could sit at a table. You could sit at the... Oh, I've been saying the bar, but it's not... You would At a diner, you wouldn't call it the bar. You'd call it the counter. It's, it's not like it's... I mean, I guess it could serve alcoholic drinks, but that's not the primary function of it. It's the, it's the diner counter. Okay, so 16 down probably is Echo. Uh, 8 down is probably Spoon. 19 down is... Oh, sorry, 10 down is probably Duncan. 11 down is probably Altoid, the mint. 12 down is probably Needle. 14, 13 down is probably Stress. Okay, that well, that helped. Choice between... Oh, something nails. Choice between a haircut and manicure. Oh, maybe this isn't Spoon. Maybe it's Spore. Like a scent. Do do or nails? Oh, door nail. That's what it is. Do or nails. Okay, so I don't quite understand what the theme is yet, but I, but I understand at least mechanically sort of what's involved. So we have a completely normal word, door nails, um, but that's also punnily serving as a choice between a haircut or a manicure if you separate it out as do, as in a hairdo, or nails, having your nails done in a manicure. There we go. Okay, does that help me with this? Do I think this is going to be an or? I don't know if this one is, because this one specifically says a choice between, and this says a, this is a parent, it's an individual parent. Dressed up at a pride parade, perhaps. Okay, I'm not sure. It would be easier if they were all choices, but I don't think they're going to be, so I haven't necessarily solved the overall nature of the theme. Okay, word after black or before box. This one is really baffling me. Where else can I look? This is probably 27 down might be NATO. Um, no, really. Oh, something clock, maybe? Could this be clock? 34 down could be Acer. 35 down could be floor plan? I have to individually select each of these cells because if I if I use the arrow keys down, it will um, select the down clue and I might accidentally read it. Prefix with metric or logic. Oh, neometric? Neologic? I don't know about that. Geo, geometric? Geologic. Oh, that should have been more obvious. 
Okay. Uh, 50 down could be tub or tab, I suppose. Uh, 39 down could be con? Like the actor, maybe? Oh, 40 down is certainly Klondike. Could be, I guess, the location or the confection. 44 down could be... I do not know. 45 down could be antlers, I bet. This is, this is the most I've... <laughs> of this kind of blind inference I think I've ever had to, to do in one of these, and it's very interesting. To, well, I don't know if it's interesting to you, but I'm finding it interesting at the moment. Uh, low military. Oh, it is corporal. It's the low military rank. Great. Okay. So 59 down could be care or core. Game break. Half time. There we go. Okay. So what does this mean? Or a hint to interpreting the first parts. Half time. Do or door. Is door time? Do we have door to make do or? Why would that be the case? Door time. I don't know. I don't quite understand it. Sorry about that. Okay, erotica. Oh, it is porn. Okay, there we go. Great. Okay. Oh, oh dream on was 44 down. When there are two words, I do find them harder to infer in this method of solving. 39 down is cap'n, the, you know, cap'n, the way to um, uh, contract captain. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, USSR must be 54 down. Queer, maybe, 53 down, or queen, or... It's probably a Q, in fact. I can't, I, now that I say it, it's hard for me to think that it could be any other letter. So, what was this again? Contr continue with your routine, cheerleader. Oh, could be squad, as in a cheer squad. Oh, 30, 38 down. Sorry, this is very tiny on my screen um, to fit in my recording window, but uh, it could be EGAD. So that's why that's why it sometimes looks like looks like I'm straining to read the numbers because they're they're very it's a tiny little window. Okay, um, uh, forty nine down looks like intent to me. Forty eight down looks like oh maybe I have something wrong that doesn't look like anything. Uh, forty seven down doesn't really look like anything either. Okay. Oh, go on squad goon squad go on. Do or go on door goon. What does the halftime mean? Does it just mean we're we're having it? I don't understand the time bit. I mean, clock is time, but nails isn't really, and squad isn't really. I don't still don't quite understand what's going on with this, other than we divide the first word into two words. That part I understand. Meet me under Big Ben. Something the clock. No. Be, uh, what word would fit here? Oh, something at the clock? Beat the clock? Be at the clock. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. So 30 down is probably arty. Word after black or before box. Uh, black made? No, ma uh, main black? Why am I not seeing this? This is infuriating. Uh, or bef no, no, no. Black. M <laughs> before. <laughs> Sorry about this. This is this is ridiculous. Before box, mailbox, blackmail. Ah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, blackmail is a single word, and I wasn't really thinking about it in those terms. It should have been. Okay, great, good. Okay, well, it looks like I've done something wrong down here. These these things don't seem correct. Shopper's aid. Maybe it, I, I wasn't very sure about about um, cart. That bit could be wrong. Intent is probably right. I guess adheres could be wrong as well. I don't know. Good day for a hunt. Good day for a hunt. What does that mean? Good day for a hunt. Oh, I don't know. Sorry, this is this is this is frustrating. Okay. Um, uh, Sixty-two down is probably root R T E. 
you know, a route as in a, a road or something or, or a path. Good day for a hunt. So this could end in probably N or R. That's all I can really imagine it ending in uh, because, of the, because of 53 down. Oh, that's funny. I, was, I, I don't know why I thought of this. I thought of an N, and then I thought maybe it ends in Lenten, like Lent. But then I thought Lent needs to leads to Easter, and Easter is where you have an egg hunt. So I think that's actually probably the answer, which I arrived at through a ridiculous means. So forty six down looks like a glare. Uh, forty seven down looks like no idea. A list. A shopper's aid is a list. Ah, oh, that was not very not very difficult. Okay. Um, I'm of use, maybe one down. I don't know what that would mean. Parent dressed up at a pride parade, perhaps. Uh, three down. Pram crib? Don't know what that means. Four down could be yes or you, like a yew tree, maybe. Or yen, actually, could be as well. Um... <gasps> I know what 17 across is. It's main drag or ma in drag. Ma as in mother. Uh, oh, that's very clever. These are really good. I like these. I mean, they're it, they're simple. And I still don't quite understand what they mean exactly. Half time. That's the part I don't get. Why don't I get that? I don't know. Um, maybe uncles is wrong. These downs look strange to me. Yeah, I thought this was going to help me with these, but it hasn't really. Yeah, I do think uncles might be wrong. Ah, 25 down lead, that is a word. That is a journalistic spelling of lead, L-E-A-D, for the purpose of sort of article writing and layout reference. Um, but one down looks more like immense to me. Oh, nieces could be the family reunion attendees. And then sea lion, I guess, two down. And prime rib is three down, I guess. And there it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. That was a battle. That was a real battle. That was the most, <laughs> that was the, I guess the, I guess I've, the last time I, ran into that kind of trouble with one of these, I just switched to actually reading the down clues, whereas this time I was sort of obstinately stubborn about it. Uh, it's funny, yesterday's solve was much faster than average for a Monday, I would say, because I didn't need to read as much. But today, this was probably longer than the average Tuesday's solve, at least it's long, they're both longer than the average individual solve I might do, but this was certainly longer than the average video solve as well. Um, okay, well, let's quickly go through the downs. We've taken long enough on the solve, so I don't need to go into great detail, but let's just quickly review them. Uh, something gargantuan is immense. A marine mammal that barks is a sea lion. A tender cut of beef is prime rib. A strong desire is a yen. A skilled writer, say, is a wordsmith. Slices of history are eras. To implore someone is to beg them. Wild animals trail, right? It is the scent, is a spore. Thirst quencher in Quebec is O, water. In French, Scottish king murdered by Macbeth is Duncan. Curiously strong mint is an altoid. Part of a record player or pine tree is a needle. What an accent mark indicates is a stress uh, in you know, word pronunciation. Reverberation is an echo. Uh, to go kaput is to die. Capital wheeler dealer informally is a pole, is a, a politician. Um, to give up is to seed something, as in land. Chef's creation is a dish. Alliance that Ukraine seeks to join in brief is NATO, the uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And highbrow, something highbrow is arty. Maker of Aspire laptops is Acer. Architectural diagram would be a floor plan. Bowls, if one bowls someone over, one awes them. Holy cow is EGAD. Crunch of cereals, Captain Crunch. Yukon Gold Rush site is the Klondike. There we go, was the location. You wish is Dream On. Features of bucks but not does are antlers, um, so as in deer. Shining brightly is a glare. I'm completely at a loss. There's no idea. X, uh, eats between meals is, oh, noshes, right, yeah. Uh, one's purpose is one's intent. The keyboard key next to Q is tab. 
The Q in LGBTQ is queer. Cold War power, for short, would be the USSR. Pointy-eared uh, being would be an elf. To give a hoot would be to care. Highlighted path on Google Maps abbreviation would be a root. Um, if one kept something out of sight, one hid it. And finally, a recipe measurement would be a teaspoon. There we go. That was the Tuesday crossword solved painstakingly using cross clues only. And um, uh, I didn't really beat the clock today. <laughs> didn't take half time. It took something like twice time, maybe. But that's okay. And I don't fully know that I quite understand exactly what this is implying. But I, I think I broadly get it, which is that we're we're dividing the first word in half and. Um, we have full phrases that turn into kind of punny, um, punny phrases. So we've got main drag becomes ma in drag, door nails becomes do or nails, beat the clock becomes be at the clock, and finally goon squad becomes go on squad. So very nice, very nice uh, theme from a very in- experienced constructor and um, a very uh, tortured solve. <laughs> so there we have it. And uh, should be back tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, midweek, mid-difficulty, crossword, none of this nonsense tomorrow, just regular solving, I think. So do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. (laughs) 